Oh wow, there's a lot of white in this one. Good morning guys. So today is going to be an absolutely epic day because of what's going on in here. So I see a couple of uh, snakes hatching in there, but this morning I've got to go make a rodent run because everybody else needs to eat around here and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut these bad boys open. Check this out for a second though. Look at this. Look what happened to my nail. It broke right in half and then a couple of like, look at that nail right there. So that happened when I fell off the cliff in California. I caught my nails on the rock and I broke it in half. So yeah. There's a couple ripped up on this. Oh, it's just grody. Ugh. But anyway, today rodents and then cutting open eggs. Alright guys, so I checked this this morning and a few of them have pipped. What pip means is that snakes have a little egg tooth that they're born with and they cut the inside of the egg and make a little slit in the egg and that's what they stick their little heads out and that's what they crawl out of the egg with, so it's called pipping. So I never cut the eggs until each egg is pipped. Then I go in with one of these, an X-Acto knife, and I slowly and carefully just make that little cut that they've already made just a little bit bigger so that he has plenty of room to get out of the egg but also I can't wait for him to get out of the egg to see what I've got. So the mother of this clutch was a pied and the father was a leopard banana het pied. Look at this guys. I've already got a pied. How awesome is that? Low white pied. So that pattern looks a little funky. She might be leopard. There's really, God, it's really hard to tell if she's gonna be leopard or not. And the way that the genetics work with banana ball pythons is that if the father was a banana male, then nine out of 10 of the eggs that are banana are gonna be male. All the other eggs, all the other babies, are gonna be female. And that's what this little pied is. She's a female. So let's cut up in the rest of these eggs. So I've already seen some of the heads poke out and I know I've got some bananas in this clutch, but I don't know if they're banana pieds and I don't know if they're banana leopard pieds. We're about to find out. So I've got my X-Acto knife and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just enlarge the hole that the little baby snake naturally made. All right, we'll start with this top one. All right, so I missed the pied on this one. This one is just a banana. And I don't want to disturb her too much. All right, so I've got one banana so far. It's not a pied, but that's okay. The mother was a pied, and therefore this is gonna be het pied. So this is a banana het pied. Not too bad, let's keep going. All right, guys, so egg number two. This is definitely a leopard. It's a normal leopard, but it's a leopard het pied. Let's keep going. Egg number three is another normal and I'm kind of, has kind of a pretty funky pattern. So I'm also gonna guess that this one's leopard. I won't be able to know until they fully emerge, but five eggs left and we haven't hit the leopard banana pie yet. All right, we're gonna keep going. All right, four eggs cut. This one's another banana. We didn't get the pie in this egg either. Four more eggs to cut. Oh wow, there's a lot of white in this one. There's a ton of white on this guy. I can't even see a pattern on him. And look at that head. We got a banana pied. One banana pied down. Oh, it's just crazy low white for a banana pied. All right, three eggs left to go. We've got white, this is another pied. Look at that, guys. All right, we've got our second banana pied in this clutch. I can't tell the patterns. These guys are so high white. I can't see any of the body patterns on these guys yet, so I don't know if I hit that leopard. I don't want to disturb them too much to find out, but I really want to find out. All right, two banana head pieds, two banana pieds. We got two eggs left. All right, so this one has a really funky pattern for being a pied. Still can't really tell if it's a leopard pied or not. I'm gonna have to wait till they're all out of the eggs to find out. But that's a pretty funky pattern for a pied. But he is a normal pied. At least he's a normal pied. Could be leopard pied. We'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, one egg left. I 
see a little bit of white in there. Could this be the leopard banana pied? Here we go. Alright, so with what I can see now, this is definitely a banana leopard. It's going to be a banana leopard head pied. I don't see any white in there, but I'm going to let him come out of the egg on his own time. But here's the final count of this clutch, guys. We've got two pieds, possibly leopard pieds. We've got two banana pieds, possibly banana leopard pieds. I'll have to wait till they come out of the egg. We've got a leopard banana, and we've got two normals that could be leopard, but those are also going to be het pied. Everybody in the clutch that's not pied is gonna be het pied because the mother was pied. So I'm gonna let these guys come out of the egg on their own time, but so far, I couldn't be happier with this clutch, and I'll follow up as soon as these guys are out of the eggs. Okay guys, it's about a week after I did the cut, and so what I do with my babies is I'll leave them in the incubator until they've had their first shed, which is about a week. So I just saw that the last one just shed this morning, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them out, I'm going to look at them, and Man, right after that first shed is when you finally get to see their true colors and kind of get an idea for just how amazing these babies are going to be. But then I pop them and see what genders I have, and then I decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to sell. So ah, let's take a look at these things. You can see that there's all these little sheds in here from their first shed. So we'll get those out of here. Everybody's shed. That's awesome. Look at this guy. I don't think that it's leopard because there's a lot of purples in there and usually that leopard gene actually brings out the oranges in a banana pied. And this guy, he looks a little purple-ish but he's so high white that, you know, he doesn't have a lot of color to begin with but he's a keeper anyway. Alright, so all you need to do to figure out a gender on a snake, snakes have two hemipenes and they don't have a lot of tight muscles in their tail that holds that in. So when they're babies, if you do just a little bit of pressure, you can just boink, pop those things out. So this is how you do it. Take your thumb and put just a slightest amount of pressure above the cloaca. With your other thumb, boink, just put a little bit of pressure. And obviously, this one is male. All right, so take a look at these two pieds. See the oranges coming out and the aberrant pattern on this one? This one I'm gonna say for sure is leopard. This one, this one is still giving me a little bit of confusion. But I'm gonna sell it as a possible leopard and hopefully whoever buys it is gonna get lucky with this pie. Because of the nature of the banana gene that I explained earlier, I'm expecting both of these pieds to be female. And look at that, no hemipenes. So this pied is a female. Now let's take this leopard pied, a little bit of pressure, nothing popping. So both of these pieds are female, so they're gonna go in the female box. Now there's three bananas in here, a leopard and two normal bananas that are het pied. I'm expecting all of these to be male. Boom. Boink. Boink. Male. So yeah, the three banana het pieds, the leopard and the two bananas, as I thought, are gonna be male. And the two leopards, I expect these guys to be female. Right. Leopard number one, that's female. Leopard number two, boink. Oh, it's a male. All right, so both of these leopards, this is a pair. One male, one female. That's not too bad. All right, so one left. Look at this. This is one of the most beautiful banana pieds I've ever hatched out. And look at the oranges just pop. She could have leopard in her, but it's really hard to tell in a pied. I mean, there are some that just scream leopard pied. And then there's others that just simply don't, but they may have that leopard gene in them. All right, so the moment of truth. Let's see if this is male or female. All right, here we go. Yes, I have beat the genetic quagmire that is banana ball pythons and have produced what could be a leopard banana pied that is female. All right guys, so here's the question. Do I keep her and use her for future breeding? She'll be ready in about three years. And by then, who knows what I could breed her to. 
or do I sell her for about $3,000, which is what her value is currently? Do I sell her for that and use that money to buy other kinds of breeding stock? What would you guys do? Comment below and let me know, but I'm leaning towards she's going nowhere. Anyway guys, tomorrow morning I am expecting a package that I am totally excited about, so I'm gonna share that with you guys. So in the meantime, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on.